Yeah, the the AIU, I think in in their rule list, it says you know they they sometimes instruct not to call because it gives can give the athlete advance notice to where tampering can be perhaps performed. But you're saying any other time you've had a phone call, so you weren't prepared for not having a phone call. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely. I mean, literally every other time. Literally. Um, obviously, it's been times where I've just been at home and like they'll knock on the door and obviously I'll be downstairs, hear the door, open the door and they didn't call. But any time where it's been like, you know, they're not sure if I heard the door or they're not sure or um, a couple minutes have gone by or anything. Um, or if I'm at, at home or if I'm outside the window or, or, or anything like I've I've had a phone call. I've received a phone call. So um, that's been that's been my experience. That's been the experience of every other athlete that I've spoken to. Literally everybody else in the sport that is in the in the um, testing pool that I've spoken to said that that's just something that they feel like is egregious and purposeful if they told them not to call. Um, so not only is it only my experience, but it's I feel like everybody else is too. But obviously, I can't speak for everybody, or I don't want to give out specific names or anything like that. But the people I've spoken to, they say that that's been an experience as well. What have you been told uh, about the length of your suspension as of now? Do you know, is it two years as a standard, or, or what exactly do you have specifically there? I have no idea. Um, obviously, I think in the rule book, it says two years. I think that would just be very egregious. I think that would be very... Um, I don't know. I, I feel like that'll be overkill. Um, in situations in the past, I, um, I've seen people be suspended for only a year. Um, if that's the case, hopefully it can be a situation where it's December to December or maybe May to May or from this day to you know next year and I'll still be good for the Olympics. That's what's the most important, man. At the end of the day, I just want to be able to run. Like This is my job. This is my career. This, this is my livelihood. This is how I make money. And so it's just like and you know this i mean this brings me joy like this is what i love to do so obviously i don't want to be suspended i don't want to have to sit out and it's something that i worked so hard for for me to have this opportunity to um legitimately have a shot you know at making the olympic team and, and come home with a medal and so that's what's most important so even if we had to work out some sort of deal or, or anything i don't know man like for me to just be suspended a year and still be available for the olympics i'm not sure but uh I think in the rule book it says two years. I've never seen that that done or happen or or anybody face that. So we'll see. Everything is just kind of like up in the air and so many moving parts. And I I don't know. I think that's the most crazy part to me is that like it's not a set of rules or a set timeline or or, or anything like that. Like other organizations, it's just kind of like I don't even know who's making the rules or who's making the final say or anything. I have no idea. When did you accept the, the the provisional suspension? Was that when we found out about it? So so this morning, or does that go back a month, two months? I'm just trying to to if if you are suspended, how long you would be out, and how much time you would have to miss. So, like I was saying before, how they were like messing around, like running for like a month, not responding for two months, and so finally, mm -hmm. um, my lawyer was like. We, we don't want to keep prolonging this and prolonging it. And then we're getting close to like, let's say I had to be suspended a year. We're getting close to the Olympic trials. And so like a month ago, he told him that we'll accept a provisional suspension and still um, hold our right to, you know, still um, appeal this and still go through the process. But you guys are take, taking a long time or, you know, messing around. And we don't want to get closer and closer to when the Olympic trials will be next year. Um, so we accepted a provisional suspension a month ago. Um, okay. and so I'm assuming if it's a year, it'll be from then. Um, if not, I'm not sure, man, I, I have no idea at this point. I have no right. idea.